Hey, welcome to vb8sorocode.com. In this video lesson, I'll show you how to create a module from another module. Here's the code basically to do it. I'll leave that in the video description for this YouTube video. So the first thing you need to do is go to Tools, References, and this is in alphabetical order. So just scroll down to Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications, Extensibility 5.3, check that off, press OK. And uh, what this is going to do is it's going to add in a Module 3 and uh, for module one, we're in module one right now. And uh, what this does is basically sets uh, this active workbook and all this VB project and uh, all the objects associated with this uh, workbook. And uh, over here, you got dot add. You could actually uh, count the number of uh, modules you have. You could uh, remove a module. I'll show you how to remove a module in a different video. Uh, I'll show you how to count a module in a different video. It'll be like, it'll be called uh, remove module from module. Uh, very clever naming YouTube video conventions. I have, uh, yeah, so it's just going to be called module three. And uh, I'm not actually going to step through this code because when you get up to here, if you're stepping through code, it'll actually just execute everything. Uh, yeah, so basically right over here, line number. Uh, line number is just a variable. It's blank right now. If you hover over it, let me just press F8 once. If you hover over it, it's empty. The tooltip will say it's empty. And uh, dot count lines, it's a method. It'll count the lines in the current module. Uh, and basically after it's created, the count of lines, it'll be zero. Let me just get up to where we create it. See right there, module three was just created. Um, so the, the count of lines is currently zero. You can see it's empty and uh, it'll be plus one. So basically dot insert lines right here, dot insert lines line number. Uh, line number will, will actually be one once you get to that point. Uh, so line one, it'll put that there and uh, basically equals what's over here. And then line number equals line number plus one. So now you're actually at line number two. and uh, as you can see over here, um, there's, uh, see how there are double quotes here? And uh, whenever you put double quotes inside of other double quotes in VBA, you need to include two double quotes. You got one, two. Uh, so you need to put two double quotes there. Down here, when uh, you actually put double quotes inside of double quotes, so here's like the initial double quotes for the formula, the if formula. You actually need to put four double quotes, so it's kind of like Inception, and you just get mad double quotes. And uh, yeah, basically, I'm just gonna execute the rest of this. And uh, let me let me just put a message box in here. Message box. Hi. We're in module two right now. And uh, yeah, so what it's gonna do? It's gonna insert basically all this code right here, or all this code right over here going to insert that into module three and uh, yeah so let me just press play and uh, as you can see all that code is in module three you got each of the lines basically that we just referenced one two three four etc and uh, yeah so I'm gonna run through this code let's see range a1 equals one and I'm just gonna count this formula right here just counts the last row in column one or column A. So the, this value is the last uh, value in there. If you uh, were to press shift control down. Uh, so right here, B1 select. And it's gonna fill it with this formula. If yes, blah, 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 no. So if A1 equals one, then yes, otherwise no. And uh, obviously A1 equals one, so B1 equals yes. And then this formula down here, application on time now. So here's the current time right now on my on my screen, 428. So that's how you could reference the time in VBA. Uh, so it'll be plus the time value of uh, one second. Let's just make this five seconds uh, for so you can see it. So I'm gonna press F8, and in five seconds it's gonna actually execute counter the module counter. Oh wait, shit! I was in break mode. All right. So in five seconds, it's actually going to execute the, there we go, hi. Uh, so counter right here, it just executes counter 
after five seconds. And uh, counter is actually the name of the sub procedure within module two. So yeah, you could uh, create a module from another module and then uh, like add in specific lines. Uh, you could remove specific lines. I'll show you that in another video. And then uh, you could also, after a certain amount of time, you could have a module run another module uh, sub procedure from that module. And uh, thank you for watching uh, this YouTube video. Um, give some props to DJIK uh, for some shout outs. Okay. Um, check out vbaitsorocode.com for more lessons. Uh, thank you for watching my YouTube video. Subscribe.